This is Mutebi uh, presenting a physical geography in East Africa about the causes of mass wasting in East Africa. It is a continuation of the types which I presented the other time. Uh, one of the causes is the reef. The reef sometimes is called the gradient, sometimes it is called the angle of the slope. So the steeper the gradient, the faster the rate of movements. And the lower the gradient, the slower the movement of the materials. Uh, for example, the vertical slopes, like escarpments, like cliffs, like river banks, accept downhill movement of the loose rock particles uh, leading to landslides. Uh, when you go to the coastal areas around Mombasa, we have those banks. Those ones can trigger off uh, massive movements. When you move to Butiaba escarpments, those ones also in Western Uganda can also trigger off uh, rapid movements such as rock falls. Then the other aspect of relief is the steep slopes. Uh, for example, in mountainous areas, these also trigger off fast movements and they are evident in the Bondivogio, in Intoroko, in Western Uganda, along Mount Renzoi. And then the other one is the gentle slopes. These lead to occurrence of slow movements, uh, such as soil creep, such as soil fraction, mainly at the foothills of the mountains, and also the dry areas, like Nakasongora. Uh, factor two is about climatic factors. Uh, for instance, heavy rains soften and increase on the weight of the materials. As a result, the cohesive force reduces, leading to mass wasting types like mud flows in Bududa, in Bulamburi, Burucheke, along Mount Erigon. Then the other aspect of climate is temperature changes in hot and dry climate or dry climate areas. Uh, these lead to physical weathering and the loosening of local particles. Remember that uh, during the daytime, we have sun is insulation which absorbs, which is absorbed into rocks. And during night, we have rapid cooling. So as a result, rocks are weakened and then materials begin to move down slope. But this time, these are slow movements like a soil creep in Soroti and Karamoja. Then the other one is the temperature changes in cool climate areas. Uh, these lead to freezing and thawing, hence soil fraction in mountainous areas like Kenya, like Renzoli, and Mount Kilimanjaro. Factor three is about the nature of rocks. For instance, the rock hardness and softness. So soft rocks absorb water and the cohesive force between the rocks reduces. As a result, materials begin to slide down slope in the form of uh, mud flows, in the form of slumping, in the form of rock slide. In Chigese Highlands and parts of Bududa um, along Mount Erigon. The other one is the presence of alternating rock types. Uh, for example, where massive permeable rocks overlie the impermeable rocks, uh, water enters through the permeable rocks. And these permeable rocks, after absorbing water, they slide over the impermeable rocks in the form of rock slide, in the form of slumping. Uh, these ones are evident on the slopes of uh, Mount Erigon. And then the other one is the, the rock jointing, whereby the jointed rocks allow, allow water to percolate through 
and as a result the weight of the materials uh, increases and uh, this leads to mass wasting types like mud floors uh, like rock falls and also rock jointing facilitates the expansion and the contraction of rocks as a result rocks are going to break and then fall off for example in Nyero, in eastern uganda in kachombara soroti among other areas the other factor is vegetation absence of forests uh, in particular areas uh, increases on the mass movements uh, for example where forests are cleared soils are prone soils are exposed to water water enters through the soils and rock particles they become saturated and eventually slide down slope under gravity for example on the slopes of Mount Elegon and where forests and plant roots are available these hold the soil particles together as a result there are slow mass movements occurring in those areas where forests and plant roots are present the other factor is uh, related to tectonic activities the occurrence of earthquake uh, leads to vibrations and loosening of local particles so as the earthquakes occur vibrations cause uh, cracks in some rocks rocks become loosened as a result these ones are set in motion in the form of rock falls, in the form of rock slumps, in the form of rock slides, in Bundivujo, in, in Kasese, and Kavaroli in Western Uganda. And then volcanic activities blow off lava materials in the form of ash and cinder. As a result, there are lava flows. These move with rock particles down slope to cause mass wasting types, such as uh, such as the uh, uh, rock falls, rock slides, uh, rock slumping. For example, in the Virunga ranges in southwestern Uganda. then we have mines activities uh, for example the movement of heavy objects for instance trains and the trucks trigger off rapid downhill movement of the loose rock particles in the form of rock falls this is evident in Kavale and Kisoro in southwestern Uganda and then the construction of communication routes such as roads such as railways in hilly areas, uh, the construction leaves the hanging slopes. These hanging slopes result into uh, mass wasting types in case of any disturbance. So we have evidence of uh, rock falls along the Kavali Katuna Road. This is because of the construction of, of communication roads uh, such as roads. And then the other one is acquiring and mining along the steep slopes. These ones uh, normally cause uh, rocks to disintegrate because of the explosives uh, which are being used to blast the rocks. So as a result, materials begin to flow down slope under gravity. For example, in the Kavali quarries, uh, in Chilembe Mines, in School Hills of Toro, among other areas. And then agriculture activities, where agriculture is carried out or farming along the steep slopes. Vegetation is cleared and then rocks uh, become loose. 
as a result of a, in the case of any disturbance or you have a heavy down power on such soils uh, rocks which are already loose or loosened up they are going to be set in motion down slope under gravity in a form of muddy floors in a form of rock slides uh, this is evident in the many highland areas of East Africa where farming is carried out along the steep slopes. For example, in Kavale, in Kisoro, in Kapucholwa, among other areas. And then deforestation along the steep slopes, whereby trees are cut. So the binding effect of trees is reduced. As a result, the soils are left uh, bare and then they are loosened. And then, in case of any disturbance, the materials uh, are set in motion uh, down slope. For example, in Chigesi Highlands. This is because of the dense population, whereby the vegetation is cleared, and then the slopes are left bare, and then they are susceptible to any form of disturbance. and many other causes. So, dear students, those were the causes. I have provided some sample questions for you to try. Uh, for example, examine the extent which physical factors have influenced the occurrence of mass wasting in East Africa, uh, whereby I would expect a student to define mass wasting, uh, give areas where mass wasting is common, then describe in details the processes of mass wasting using diagrams and examples, then you give a standing point. Uh, for example, you will say to the greater extent physical factors have influenced the occurrence of mass wasting in East Africa. So you give those physical factors and then evaluate your question by looking at other factors, mainly the human factors. And then the other question which I have prepared for you is that uh, to what extent has a leaf influenced the types of mass wasting in East Africa? Here I expect a student to de uh, define mass wasting, give reasons why initial resistance is overcome, then show areas where mass wasting is common in East Africa, describe it in details, processes of mass wasting, then give a standing point in a bracket you will say to the small extent a leaf has influenced it the occurrence of mass wasting types in East Africa, then evaluate the question by looking at other factors which have influenced mass wasting, where you can say to the greater extent other factors have influenced the occurrence of mass wasting in East Africa. I have also provided some pictures there for you to view. Uh, for example, here we have uh, uh, particular types of uh, mass wasting like rock slide, uh, like rock slump, as you can see in those pictures. Um, these ones here, they are portraying muddy floors. You can see a mixture of water and material sliding down slope under gravity. So, as I have already said, that we, we have them in Bududa Blue Cheke. That is a clear view of the muddy floors. Uh, this one here, it is a, uh, mainly uh, the rock falls and, and rock slides, which are caused by mining activities like quarrying and the quarrying, mainly quarrying. As you can see, broken rocks are falling off because of mining activities of quarrying. And then uh, here we have cultiva uh, cultivation along the steep slopes, which also uh, triggers off rapid movements and then highlands being susceptible to landslides you can see that is a highland area which is prone to mass wasting types mainly the landslide types and then we have rock slides and 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 rock falls on your left uh, these ones can be in the form of uh, rock slides, and then on your right we have uh, the rock falls, uh, broken rocks falling, and then they are breaking 
the road. They are falling in the road. Um, and 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 many other aspects. Thank you so much, dear students, for watching and listening. And in case of any other information, please visit the link below. God bless you. Thank you so much.